here's an on-board lap of Silverstone Classic Grand Prix in the Formula Renault 2.0. Now into turn one, you're braking a lot earlier than you think, just need to get right up in the right apex. So brake well before the 50 meter mark, and make sure you get the car up on the curbing so you can accelerate out and run it out wide. That carries the maximum momentum. You're just keeping tight to this cob spec section. Just go up over the curbing. You don't want to push too deep into the corners because it will just compromise your exit and lose you a lot of time. You just want to keep it tight and accurate through there. Now I'm using that Marshall's post on the left, just slightly up to that as a braking marker. You want to carry absolute maximum speed through here and run the car out wide as far as you can. Now in through this section, I'm getting up on the left hand curving and the right hand curving on the entry and just letting the car run out wide in the exit. There's no off track for going out here, so feel free to run out as far as you want. I figured you can carry maximum momentum if you just let the car run a bit wide. These apexes are really hard to spot because the track's so flat that you do get the hang of it. Now up over the right-hand curbing, get as far right as you can to enter into the left-hander. Through this section, you need a lot less brakes than it looks like. You're basically just carrying the car mostly on the throttle, just with a touch of brakes. I like to get up on the right hand curbing through this exit, just to give it the maximum short track distance and push it out as wide as you can. And that's a lap. It's a fairly simple track for historical GP, but it's still hard to get completely right.